G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Just on my way to Wally Shelter on the Bibbleman Track. So, let's go and have a look. Made it to Wally. As you can hear, the wind's blowing up. Which is pretty nice, it's been a, a little bit humid today, so we've got some black clouds coming in. Uh, hopefully we'll get a little bit of rain tonight. So, as I show you around, you'll have to excuse the wind or the noise of the wind. But Wally Shelter has had a renovation. Originally, if I remember, it was big enough for about eight, eight to twelve people. And now, let me turn the camera around and I'll show you. And now, it's big enough for probably twenty or more. Uh, top underneath, and again, people have left rubbish behind, which is disgusting. If I weren't going as far as I am over the next couple of days, I would have carried that uh, back out with me. Uh, yeah, at least they put it in a bag, they just should have carried it. Well, that looks like it could be four wheel drivers. I should come up here even though they're not supposed to. Okay, let's go and have a look around here. We've got two water tanks. One on either side. Two picnic benches now underneath. Where before it was a box either side and the picnic bench down the middle. If I remember right, I think so. We have a far pit over there, which we can't use yet because it's only the beginning of March I'm out here and it's the end of March that the fire ban uh, is, well, it's, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, the fire ban goes away unless they extend it which they can do for a bit longer. We have another picket bench. Oh, back taken. These two trees perfect spacing for your hammock. That's where I had mine. Uh, here we go, let's go look at the uh, pictures for the tents. You've got all this area here which you could use anyway. It's fairly level. There's some on the other side of the shelves at two. But actual designated pitches. Uh, down this way. See the view, something beautiful. Little track up there. Have a see if that's a uh, we've got one pitch. That. No, it's not. It's an animal track, this is. Here's some more uh, tent pitches. Some nice little locations for this one. <coughs> nice big one there. I normally go with the size of an average hiker's tent, but we've got a good space there for two comfortable. Maybe even a third one there. There's one over here with a fantastic view. It's probably fit big enough for two hiking tents. Somebody's had a no, that weren't a fire, they just emptied their fire pit onto that. Look at the view from this pit. Let's go on down here. Nice little spots down here if I remember. And 
or well, used to be. Another one over there, tucked away, nice and sheltered. That's big enough for two, again, maybe three or even four in that area. And we carry on down the rocks here and the granite. You can probably see already there's a large area there. You can probably fit one, two, three, four, maybe even five hiking tents on there. Or even bring a sixth one out here to clear some of the rocks. Uh, this is some of the four wheel drivers they make their fire pits, which they're not meant to. Come on, guys, you're not supposed to be leaving a mess like that. Carry on down here. Another nice area. We hit one, two, three, four, maybe four, five out of three on this area around the tree. Again, another no no, another fire pit. And down the bottom there, the last one. Probably big enough looking at it from here for two tents. It's a shame people do this sort of thing. It just ruins it. We've got a beautiful spot. Right, let's head back up. Oh, there's another track. Does that go anywhere? Or is it just another animal track? Another animal track. Uh, today I walked in from the Perth Discovery Centre calling at Helena Shelter and on my way to this one I decided to do a bit of exploring and I wish I'd stuck to the track because <laughs> the trail that I followed on the map that joins up onto the building the track was steep lots of loose rocks on it and very little shade and the sun was beating down at that point so every chance I had, I stopped under a small tree where possible or I sat down on the floor underneath a bush. Now we're going to go back to the dunny, the drop toilet. The toilet we're walking down, so if you haven't seen any of my videos about the shelters, <coughs> it's a composting toilet.
and the composting toilet to, can only really drop the toilet tissue down no chemicals because the chemicals will ruin the composting no wet wipes because that too will destroy the composting uh, make sure you know when you need a peek or anything because this one's a fair distance away and ladies if it's that time in a month you have to take that home with you because that will destroy the composting in the dunny here And here it is, and it's got a reflector on it, on the door there, and that's when you come up at night time with your head torch, and reflect back and you'll be able to see where the dunny is. And there's your dunny. That's all it is. Toilet roll normally isn't provided. They get the child angels who will come and drop some off. Uh, other hikers, if they've got any spare, they'll sometimes leave it behind. Remember, no chemicals down here. We don't want it ending up smelling through maggots and everything. If there's no one else, there's your loo with a view. That's everything at Wally Shelter. It's a long walk to the toilet. So don't hold on too long. Now if you've enjoyed this video and you haven't subscribed already, please go down below and click on the subscribe button. Click on the notification bell next to it and select all and click the thumbs up button the like button and if you are already a subscriber again i thank you very much so until next time get out there have some fun and take care